guys welcome back to the channel they ain't feeling the greatest man i'm telling you what but oh boy have i got a good one for you a doozy you know i seen the new letter from clark Wendell, and you know his final plea to bass to outlaw it when he, he needs to re, retitle that my final crybaby moment but here's the thing. They have hammered these young boys and these young anglers, and they're doing it on purpose. What they're trying to do is they're wanting these young boys, they're, they're trying to hammer them so hard and so bad that they're thinking, if we do it enough, they'll just quit. They'll just go away. They've hammered on Trey McKinney. He make a mistake, I'm sure he did. But he probably didn't do nothing nobody else is doing. I mean, they hammer these young guys to the point they're just trying to beat them down where they'll quit or they'll be overly cautious and then they can get that advantage back they used to have, that their so-called advantage. I mean, Clark come out with that letter and then Randy Blockett jumped on his side. My God, I might just jump off the edge of the earth if Randy Block had ever got my side in, or and took my side in anything. If he did, I just quit. <laughs> That's, it. That's it. Shut the page down. Shut the YouTube channel down. Take all the lies, go off, but quit. Because I don't want that fool that ever backing me. That liberal leftist would never back me. But see, they they get on all these guys, and 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 the new thing that you hear now is. It's the spirit of the rule. You have to understand and, and abide by the spirit of the rule. These old guys were the ones breaking the spirit of the rule. They were the ones uh, that created these rules that we must abide by. I mean, that the, half the rule book is the Roland Martin rule book. Is that the spirit of the rule? Roland Martin was a known cheater. Before anybody attacks me, I have pretty, pretty credible knowledge that he cheated in several terms. Not gonna say because that's not my point. It's not the point of the video. Gary Klein, I know for a fact he used to make a phone call or two back in the day. See, back in the day, we didn't have the digital, you know, breadcrumbs that we have today. If you send a text today, it's hard to make it disappear. Uh, if you send a phone call on a cell phone, it's kind of hard to make it disappear unless you have both parties making it disappear. Then you still go trace it if they really get crazy to it. Call an AT&T or Verizon or whatever. It's hard to get rid of some of these digital breadcrumbs. And but back in the day, you could just call up, call somebody up. It was your word against theirs if they even knew who they were talking to or call a bait store on a landline and you can do whatever you wanted to do. It happened. Trust me, it happened. I mean, I know it happened. The tackle stores around here, all you had to do is sit there and listen to them talk. I, I promise you it happened. They cheated. Rick Clun, I mean, you can't use a drone to scout a lake now. Rick Clun used airplanes. Known facts used airplanes. Roland Martin was known for pulling logs if he was fishing on a edge of a creek channel. Back then, let's be honest, a lot of the creek channels were so well defined that you didn't have to have great maps to lead them in. Had logs and trees sticking up. You could see everything you wanted to see. Notorious for cutting down trees with chainsaws and pulling floating logs or logs with your boat moving them 100 yards to fool competitors. Back then, oh, I tell you what, that boy Schlieg, today, he's breaking the spirit of the rule. The thing is this, and we've been saying it forever, Clark said it, bass has always been constantly moving, MLF, whatever you want to say, fishing, tournament fishing, they love to refer to Ray Scott, Ray Scott would roll over in his bed. I don't know if you think Ray Scott would roll over in his bed quite as much as you think he might. Ray Scott was very innovative from life jackets, 
kill switches, live wells, all that thing, 15 fish limits, 7 fish limits, 5 fish limits. He was always moving forward and moving and advancing. Electronics, bass boats, faster boats, everything that moves forward. People in America, people period, hate change. You hate change, especially when the change affects you firsthand. There was times when you got, the old saying was once you got in the lead series, you never get out because that's what guys did. It didn't matter if you finished 70th or 80th or 40th or 50th. They didn't start griping about money till late because money is directly correlates to where you finish um, where you finish in the standings. And yes, it does take more money, but that's inflation. That's uh, that's who you vote for in office, and we're not going to get into that. I'm red all the way, though, just in case you wanted to know. But the they, you know, it costs more money. Absolutely, costs more money. It cost money back then. But people back then didn't use this as their sole primary job. Um, I remember Hank Parker saying that he borrowed ten thousand dollars to 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 go on this deal. He didn't have the money, he just borrowed ten thousand dollars and on a whim went after it, went to get it. Um you know, Clark Winlet his his whole and all the old anglers they can't just sit once they get into the elites and stay there anymore. They they have to actually do some stuff. And they have to actually win and, and perform. Clark's an angler of the year a few years ago, so he's not incapable of uh, fishing. He's a good fisherman. But he didn't want to learn this new stuff. Just like Bernie Schultz didn't want to learn this new stuff. Even though Rick Clunn didn't do as well in his final years. He's 70 or something years old. He still had live scope on the front. That the point is, just because you don't like something doesn't mean you don't try to learn to do it. Um, you know, baseball evolves. That's a big argument with folks. A lot of big, huge argument with folks is that baseball, you know, they do this. Golf homes this in. The game always changes. The Tiger Woods started an era in golf that even he can't compete in now because the youngsters took it over. They changed it. I mean, baseball, it went from a, a run production where you try to small ball a league and small ball games and try to win like that to now it's a power game. Um, they changed. You know, things change. Everything changes. And, and, you know, these same guys that they, they used to pimp out side imaging, pimp out flashers. Well, now they've been out pimped. They ain't the pimps no more. Nobody wants their girls. Nobody wants the new girls. That's what's happening. These younger guys have figured out not only the social media part, they have figured out the electronics part, and they have figured out the fishing part. Now, they always say it takes the skill out. No, it's just a new skill. You know, it's a new skill. It's a different skill. When shallow water starts working, as in every tournament, deep water anglers struggle. When deep water's on, Dean Rojas' frog doesn't work anymore. You know, and that's the way it is. Everybody kind of has that specialty. Robert G, he's awesome with live scope, but then all of a sudden he got in a tournament at Lake Fork and finished almost dead last. I don't know the kind of circumstances to it, I, but he finished dead last almost. I think it was 98th, right after he finished like second or third at Toledo Bend. It's a, and I know everybody, well, the learning curve's is short. Anybody can do it. And here's my point to that. If anybody could do it, why aren't these old anglers just picking you up so quick and whipping tail? Because it's not as easy as they say it is.
is. They just want you to believe it's as easy as they say it is. They want you to think it's so easy that the real professional should never use that. Real professionals get to work and learn how to do something. Now, I almost wish they would. I've said this in other videos of Outlaw because I am so sick and tired of listening to them cry and whine and you put your passion win. Now, you can't win because you do more whining than you do fishing. Get your butt out on the water. Go pick up, go guide some. And if that's past your time that you don't want to guide and you just want to live off the tour, start pimping and hustling for sponsors again. But, oh, the sponsor money's not there like it used to be because you haven't worked on your social media game. You haven't worked on that. So when you go to these sponsors who now realize that just because Clark Mandelich says that this is a good bait, nobody buys it anymore. Because you don't have any social media to back it up, no videos to show it. We just have your word to go on. And what do we know about words of professional fishermen? They only last as long as your contract does. They, they do not. They do not last longer than your contract. The words of your of every professional fisherman, they're ranger boys one day and triton boys the next. Whoever gives them a check, how do you believe them? They're Berkeley one day and strike king the next and six six the six as the next. And then they get in a tournament and you find out they're throwing a whopper plum, which ain't none of their stuff. That's why people don't believe them. But if you go to old T's Garmin Guru page, I don't pimp Garmin and use Lorenz. Use Garmin. If I tell you about MBT, it's because it's on my boat. If I tell you I use somebody, Connor Nimrod, you got a video to back me up. I don't go down to Hennessy Outdoors because they give it to me. I went to Tournament Technologies and paid for it. See, nobody believes them anymore. And see, their lie is up. Their game is up. All these old anglers, they've been lying. And now their lie is up. And they're and they look, it's just like an old boy that got caught cheating. He got a million reasons why. Can't just tell you the right reason. He, he didn't think he was going to get caught. And all these boys got caught. And now they've been caught and passed. And they're getting discarded. Now, when I say discarded, they're great anglers. Before somebody comes at me and says, You couldn't hold a candle in the wind of Clark Wendland. I don't know. I never fish against Clark Wendland. Maybe he beats me, maybe he don't. If it comes to a shallow water game, I'm pretty good with a frog and a swim jig. comes to a live scope game, I'm pretty good with a live scope. He's pretty good at what he does. Pretty awesome. Angler of the year awesome. But he's he's obviously shown that when he gets out of his wheelhouse, he can't adapt. It doesn't. I, I probably get my brains beat in by him. But when people say that, oh, you couldn't, you don't know me. I don't know you. I know what Clark Wendler's doing, crying because he's 90th in points. Cry, Ike, crying because he's 95th in points. Come on, man. These old anglers have been lying to you, and then they finally got busted. Hey, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for following the pages. Thank you for liking the videos. I am thankful to everyone here.